Hello there, gentlemen, and welcome back to Nigeria, where we are going to become a world power. It's going to happen. Nigeria is going to be the first African nation to uh, have an empire, really. And the Egyptian empire, that doesn't count. The Carthage empire, that doesn't count. They're North African empires. They're not true Africans. They're... They're more Arab-like people. We're real Africans down here. We have the real first African empire. The Zulu empire doesn't count because they they just called themselves an empire. They didn't have expansive lands over across the world. No. Nigeria is going to hold the mantle, the pinnacle of African civilization. It's going to be our Nigeria. Under the command of uh, the elite mechanicals, Martin Luther Aguay. This man will lead us to victory. You can be assured of it. I've already locked down the uh, population. He's the only loser. About 100. <laughs> yeah, about 100 less recruitable people per, per month. But civilians gone down quite a few. But it's only going to go further and further we need to get these uh, constructions going so off we go we want to industrialize our nation strong emphasis on that we need to get these factories up and running and building yes more resources to export would help we are after all exporting a lot of stuff oil yeah, what if I exported more resources? No, not that. It would be this, wouldn't it? Export focus to free trade. Resources market 80%, factory output. Yeah. We do need a lot of this stuff which we have. So we don't want to be giving it away. It's good we have things like fuel because we need it for these vehicles we are building as you can uh, as you can see we have a lot of uh, fuel requirements in our nation don't we the main thing here is to cut down the other things maybe raise taxes a bit currently on moderate taxes high taxes would uh, lower our research time by 10 percent that is a huge amount so maybe not yes maybe we won't go down that route what else do we have? Yeah, construction speed. We'll go for Alex Smith, I think. Bang through him a bit faster. Put the ANPP here. Going up slowly but surely. Africa's gonna... Gonna do it. Africa will be strong. Under the force of Nigeria. Nigeria, strong. Nigeria the most strong African nation there ever was or will be. Yes. Yes. You build that factory. 1st of April. Still too slow. We need them going faster, my dudes. Faster. It's not fast enough. We're also going to want a bit of a navy. Naval dockyards building new ships. Yeah, so we're going to want some of these at some point. One, two, that'll be four. Five, six. I want a load of, uh, load of things later. Alright, manufacturing. That's uh, another good additional bonus to our grand nation. Resource efficiency gain. Extra 10% resource efficiency would be nice so hopefully get us a bit more exports if people want it that is if you want our goods be happy for them to come and get them yes build that now build it we might even be the first African nation to go nuclear didn't South Africa go nuclear at some point, but they had to give up their weapons? We're going to be an African nation to go nuclear 
and stay nuclear. <laughs> yeah, boy. Africa. It could have had an empire under under base Jame, but Jame was kicked out. It's a shame. It's a shame that Jame uh, was kicked out, but uh, hopefully this Argos employee at the Mabaro will do something. He's not a not a puppet or whatever. If he'll uh, do his thing, but we'll see. We'll see if he lives up to expectations. Jama was a great man, but unfortunately, uh, all great things come to an end at some point. Apart from the Nigerian Empire, but everything else. Have we built it yet? Soon. Ah, good improved construction tools. Exactly what we're after in this regard. Was it? Yes. Any 3D construction. Get that construction speed up faster. Build me my empire. Nigeria demands their empire. There you go. Down on 27th of March now. Civilian economy though. That's what's killing us. Early mobilization. It just goes down so much. 25% world tension. Ah. When's it going to get that high? When are we going to get the world tension we deserve? Civilian build up. Go now. No, that didn't actually add anything. Oh, that's a shame. That is a huge shame. Oh, I see. When I've built two, they're actually going to build them all on the same place. Whereas I thought I was going to do one of them, one of them, one of them again. That's not actually the uh, the case. I'm just going to industrialize construction first. Oh. I see. I see indeed. Yes. The African must be good. Must be old. That civilian economy is treacherous. We need to get rid of it. So becoming fascist would be the way to get through these. Family, fascists or communists. We're going reactionary, which means nationalists. Be a better way. Fascism. Oh, we don't want to go fascist route, do we? That's a say uh, Alexander White we like OK he has a good name so we'll give up on everything else but reactionaries can go for war so there's that in 2019 or earlier ah we have 11 good so this next one will take until September 2017 it's still a long way away it's going to take us a few years to get our economy going but ultimately it will happen Look at all the resources in Africa. We need to get them for ourselves. I think these guys will probably be for land and uh, and uh, what's it called? Factories. The resources are all in this direction. Yes, give me them resources. I need them now. So what do these guys do if they have nothing? This population, nothing to do. Just have their little population boom and that's it. Sufficient resources, well yes, that will happen. Uh, not fast enough. We require faster factories now. Nigeria demands. Okay, how do we get faster factories? We can't do this. Which is a shame. 25 volt tension is just too out of our reach. Export for free trade will do factory output of construction speed plus fifteen percent. Opposed to that, so still five percent extra. But there is, of course, the captain of industry, so we will get him. And it's a smarter option, I think. Shall make these guys die ninth of September, so we're getting better. Now, we've already got plus forty percent, so we're smashing it. But that minus 70 is a real pain in the ass for our African greatness. If we will not be held back. No way. 
Oh, we have a navy. An African navy. It's a name, our submarines. Do we have a commander? Yes, we do. Ooh. DJ. It's got to be the DJ. And who gets him to uh, convoy escort? Patrol, I guess. Yeah, let's get him to patrol in the uh, Gulf of Guinea, the coast of Angola, and the Cape Verde Plain? You want to go all the way? Ah, yeah, Cape Verde Plain. Off you go, mates. And all future. All future. Lots will go after Nigeria Fleet 1. I don't want to be named it at all. GF Fleet 1, here we go. This is the, uh, the Fleet of Moses. Victor Moses, that is to you. The Fleet of Moses is on his way. Yeah. Shane, they didn't uh, get the world tension up to 25. When they took over all those forces, but Syria's taking over half of Iraq. Not good for them. Not good for them at all. Hey, my African dudes. One day. Martin Luther, one day. You invade. You get to test your metal. Yes, he's a. Can I pronounce that? Any African viewers watching? Oogadugu. Oogadugu. Did I pronounce it right? Oogadugu? Oogadugu. Oh, yes. Yamusoku. Eh. And he got Freetown over it. These guys, they know how to do names. Yeah, same bloke. Ah, wow. Come on, you factories. we got shit to do. Nigerian economy is counting on you. Get it built. Get it built now. Faster, faster. More factories. Get it to work. Alright, so what do we go for next? Is there any other men of uh, worth? No, there's democ democracy man. Trade opinion. Proof of relations, uh, communist. So on any app, what else we got here? Industrial concern. Eh, could be good. That's all that stuff. Military theorists is not really what we're after. We want uh, constructors, but that's all military. Maybe taxes is the way to go. But the research is just going to kill us. Export focus. Free trade does increase construction and research. Oh, there is that. It does increase the research. We'll see, we'll see. 11 factories, though, just isn't enough. Which means we need to flip over to reactionary. So if we can get to war, and then fix these issues, that's what we need to be doing. Well, tension isn't going to go up. Uh, is it? Are you going to invade Ukraine, my man? Mostly people we can't tell what they're doing. Shame. 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 But yeah, Ukraine, definitely tell what they're doing. Can't even tell what our neighbours are doing. But Ukraine, yep, we have a guy over there. We have a guy in Ukraine, and that's what's going on. A lot of this equipment, we just need to get the actual ones we need now. That would be nice. There's no point going for extra military factories until we have the other ones ready to... Uh, do their jobs. What do we just do? Oh, the gun. The gun guy. Let's get that better gun. So you want construction and resources. They're both already doing their shit, so we'll go this way. Production efficiency. Very good. 
Production efficiency is the way forward for Nigeria. It is always known. It's good that this is on its way though. See, fifty percent. Just getting rid of the negative would be so great. We've got to get these smashing outs. We'd absolutely smash it. I reckon we go free trade and then we do high taxes. We've got to tax the people. And we got to do things to offset the uh, research nonsense. That's what we got to do. So we didn't build us about the country, that's good. Excellent. Now his next man is plus two. And it's plus three. So we'll get... Oh, that is 140 days. Yeah, do it 140 days. We'll get two and then we'll do the other one for free. We'll get through them factories. Get them all to work. So we don't actually get an extra one here. That's the issue. We need less going out. Let's go now. The civilian economy killing us. Insane birth rate killing us. Closed borders is helping a bit. So we need 50%. It's just. It's not good, man. It's not good. Not good. This man. We can justify a war goal. When did that happen? Oh, we can, uh, we can invade, but we, if we're going to be spending our points, we want resources, and no one around here actually has any, the rubber there, take over Cameroon, you say, Cameroon has a little more population as well, let's just try to conquer, yeah, 53 points. Take 265 days. We'll go over there. they got much more stuff for us to worry about. Yeah, dudes. Move on over to the other side of Africa, please. The other side of Nigeria. I'm going to mix up my words. Do not get pissed off. Alright. Real factories, please. Hurry up. So our man Lufe is going to invade these. Okay, so I can actually justify war goals. I didn't know about that. It didn't show earlier, probably because I didn't have any reserve points, but... Sure. Now, what other good tradables are there around here? It'd be you next, but the Congo has everything. These guys do have some good materials in uh, normal Congo, but the Democratic Republic, they have so much stuff. We need it. Seriously, taking over... Oh, fascist rally. Taking over Equatorial Guinea and Gabon and Congo here. It's been a nice little uh, little area for us to live in. Nice little area of dominance. But I'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching and... You know, spending time watching Nigeria do what they do. I'll see you guys next time. Um, uh, look forward to you then, I guess. Bye-bye.